वेलकम टू फॉर्म फुल्ली चैनल दिस इज पी एल सिक्वल एम सी क्यू सीरीज पार्ट फोर क्वेश्चन वन विच ऑफ दीज कैन नॉट बी कंसिडर्ड एज कंट्रोल स्ट्रक्चर ए इफ क्लॉज बी वाइल्ड लूप सी कंस्ट्रेंट डी केस एक्सप्रेशन एंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज सी कंस्ट्रेंट द कंट्रोल स्ट्रक्चर आर ऑकर्ड फ्रॉम इफ केस स्टेटमेंट एंड लूप The PL sequel has three types of control structures: selection, iteration, and sequence. Selection control structure includes if-then statement, if-then else, if-then else if statement, case statement, and search case statement. The iteration control structure includes exit, while loop, for loop, and the sequence control structure includes go to statement and null statement. Question two. Which of the following PL sequel functions is used to find the position where a substring starts in a string? Option A, length. B, in string. C, concat. D, init cap. And the correct option is B, in string. Question three. Which of these is the true usage of if clause? Read the options carefully. And the correct option is D. If A is null, then else and if. Question four: Which of the following are the two case statement present in PL SQL? Option A: Simple case statement and compound case statement. B: Primary case statement and secondary case statement. C: Compound case statement and default case statement. D: Simple case statement and searched case statement. And the correct option is D: Simple case statement and searched case statement. The PL SQL has two type of case statements simple and searched case statement in structure of simple case statement we include selector after case keyword which is evaluated once and the result of selector is used to evaluate the several expressions like this expression 1 expression 2 and so on but if you see in searched case statement we don't have selector and this evaluates multiple boolean expressions and executes the sequence of statements which are associated with the condition that evaluates to true this is the example of simple case statement and search case statement you may use a search case statement when you want to execute a sequence of statement based on result of multiple boolean expression and you may use a case statement when you want to execute a sequence of statement based on the result of a single expression question 5 which type of case statements expressions is this code considered as pause the video and read the code first options are a case statement b searched case statement c case expression d searched case expression and the correct option is b searched case statement as we already learned about case statement and search case statement in our previous slide the searched case statement has no selector and when clause contains the conditions that returns a boolean value question 6 which of the following is a sequential control statement option a go to b loop c exit d case and the correct option is a go to the sequential control statements are go to which goes to a specified statement and null which does nothing question 7 which of the following correctly represents the if then else conditional statement option a multiple branching statement without fall through b single branching statement c single branching statement with fall through d multiple branching statement with fall through and the correct option is b single branching statement Question eight: What are the two subtypes of the if conditional statement in PL SQL? Option A: If then and if and if then else. B: If then else and if then else if. C: If then else and if then else if and if. D: If then else and if then else if then else. And the correct option is D. Question nine. Which of the following statement is used to insert, update, or delete bulk data? Option A: For loop statement. B: Bulk collect into statement. C: Bulk statement. D: For all statement. And the correct option is D: For all statement. Question ten: A dash statement in PL SQL allows you to jump from this statement to a specific statement labeled within the same subprogram within a PL SQL block. Options are A jump 
B go to C continue D bulk and the correct option is B go to A go to statement provides an unconditional jump from the go to to a labeled block statement in the same sub program you can see the syntax of go to after go to keyword we have mentioned the label name so the la this go to statement will jump to the labeled statement this go to identifies either a block or a statement this is the simple example of go to statement here go to print now is written the print now is a label name which is mentioned here when this go to statement execute it will jump to this statement print now which will execute this statement there are some restrictions on go to statement it cannot transfer control into an if statement case statement loop statement or sub blocks it cannot transfer control from one if statement clause to another or from one case statement when clause to another it cannot transfer control out of a sub program it cannot transfer control into an exception handler it cannot transfer control from an exception handler back into the current block but it can transfer control from an exception handler into an enclosing block thanks for watching if you find this content valuable please like share and subscribe